Did you know that for Filipino birthdays, we traditionally have a noodle dish on the table to signify long life? If you really loved somebody, you'd make this fun set recipe for them. Bunset is one of the most popular Filipino dishes. It's a noodle dish, and there's so many different types. The one I'm making today is called Bunset Bihon. Bunset Bihon uses vermicelli noodles, stir-fried with a variety of veggies and meats. Let's start by submerging your vermicelli noodles in hot water for at least 10 minutes. I let mine soak for longer if I can so that it can soak up less water later when I'm stir-frying it. This packet had 250 grams of vermicelli, but don't let its size fool you. This makes a lot of fun set. Next, chop up a quarter of a large onion. I put a wet towel under the cutting board to stop it from slipping around. Then, take four cloves of garlic, smash them, remove the skins, then dice them up a little bit. Now we'll prep our veggies. I always eyeball the veggies I put in the pancet, so here I took about eight of these Chinese green beans. Cut off the ends and then slice them into small bite-sized pieces. The green beans are no problem to slice, but then I got carrots, I got celery, cabbage, and it takes forever for me to slice them by hand. So I rarely used to make pancet until I got the veggie bullet. This thing shreds veggies, meats, your hands, basically anything you put in it. Be careful, it's really powerful. It's helped me eat a lot more vegetables and make pancet a lot more often. If you want your own veggie bullet, you can get your own using the link that I put in the description below. I'm gonna use a shredder attachment so I can have nice, thin vegetable shreds. Veggie bullet is so easy to set up, not a lot of pieces, and you can shred a carrot in two seconds. That would have taken me at least five minutes to cut these pieces by hand. Oh my God, it's amazing. Again, just eyeball how many veggies you want. I used about two large carrots, five celery stalks, and half of a small cabbage. But this was way more than the vegetables I ended up using, so just store the other half and use it for a different dish. Next, we'll prep our meat. I chose chicken thighs, but you can use any meat here. I also tend to use shrimp or a mixture of chicken and shrimp. Slice these into bite-sized chunks and let's get our stove ready. Saute the garlic and onions in some oil until translucent. Then add your chicken. Season it with pepper and salt. Then we're gonna cook this just halfway cooked and then set it aside. It'll fully cook later with the noodles. Next, throw in the green beans for a few minutes because these guys just take a little bit longer to cook. Then follow it up with the rest of the vegetable mixture. Cook it for a bit, then season it with pepper and just a little bit of salt because guess who's joining the party? Fish sauce is what will amplify the taste of your pancet. I put about a tablespoon in here because we're gonna add some more later. Throw the chicken in with the rest of the veggies and mix it up so the chicken gets some fish sauce loving too. Then set that aside and grab the vermicelli noodles. Before you do this, make sure you fully drain the water from the noodles. Grab the noodles and just snip, snip, snip so that you get shorter strands of vermicelli. Well, there goes your long life. Dump these noodles on top of the rest of the ingredients, then mix them together. Set that aside so we can make the broth. Create a little sauce mixture with two cups of water and four of these little chicken broth packets. Top it off with another tablespoon of fish sauce, then whisk it all up. I realized the more liquid makes pancit taste really yummy and juicy, so don't skimp on the liquid. But don't add way too much that it'll turn into a noodle soup either. This liquid will be soaked up into the noodles as we keep mixing and simmering. Allow some time for the noodles to soak up the liquid, about 15 minutes or so. To finish off your salty umami goodness, drizzle soy sauce all over your pancit. Mix the pancit thoroughly. This does take quite a bit of arm strength. Then taste it. If it's not salty enough, add a little bit more soy sauce or maybe some more fish sauce. Once you've achieved your saltiness level, grab a lemon and squeeze the juice into your pancet to brighten up the flavor. I use the whole lemon in here. In the Philippines, we traditionally use calamansi instead, which is a citrus fruit. Also, we usually sprinkle the juice on top of our own individual plates, but I like to add it straight into the pancet because I can determine how much to put in to make the pancet taste good. Alrighty, just give this a mix, mix, mix. Try the noodles to make sure they are fully cooked and easy to chew, then you're ready to serve. Garnish it with some green onions and enjoy this pancit on its own or have it act as your rice and serve it along with another entree. Okay, I know that was a ton of ingredients, but pancit is so good and it's a huge crowd pleaser, so it's so worth it to make it. And like I said, if you wanna make your life easier, you can get your own veggie bullet with the link that I provided in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!